hello all welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain about the inova1.ts file how we can handle the different configuration in one device suppose we have qa server staging server pre live and live so how we can manage the configuration for this server so before proceeding further if you have not followed me on the instagram and facebook here is the link please follow me and if you are new to this channel please subscribe so now i'm going to open the visual studio code and we'll see the structure so when you create the fresh application you will find there is one folder called environment and inside this environment there, there is two files which are default created one is environment.prod.ts and other is environment.ts so environment.ts will be used for the local local uh, development and environment.prod.ts will be used for when you are publishing your application so what if I have UAT staging pre live then how we can manage the configuration because suppose if we are using the single a single environment.ts file for every server then there will be very hectic and every time we need to do manual work and sometime if you miss then whole system will collapse in order to avoid all these mistakes angular gives the flexibility to create the different environment for different server so for example i am going to push the application on staging so what i have to do is right click here and create new file and name it environment dot whatever the server so for example i am pushing on the staging so i'll say staging dot ts enter and define your configuration whatever the configuration you are using for the staging so i'll say stretching and save it and the second changes that need to done open the angular.json and scroll down bit will find this section configuration so inside this configuration we need to define our configuration for staging so here see the production so from here till this curly bracket all the configuration are used for the production so just copy from here to here and scroll down put your cursor here so that we able to know where is the closing section and paste whatever you have we have copied and put the closing bracket and change this to staging and replace the file name with the that we have created for staging so this particular section will be used for the staging so only we need to make changes that we have added the file and we have added the section for the our our server related changes and now let's do it uh, run this ng build so ng build will build the application but we are building the application for specifically staging so what we have to do is space and then write configuration space and then write staging spelling should be same and then press enter so we know that in angular dist folder is created by default so when we build the application it will put all the release files inside the dist so we'll wait until this build will complete so build is completed so we'll open this dist folder and let's verify open this main.ts file and let's open it and find the staging see whatever the configuration that we have mentioned inside this file it is there inside the main.ts after building that means we are good to go and we can move this these files to the staging server right so in this way we can create the different environment for the different servers so thank you for watching and if you are new to this tutorial channel please subscribe the channel and share the link with others and also press the bell icon in order to receive the latest notification of my videos thank you so much